hey guys and welcome back to codeflix so in the last video we saw how to set up vamp and get going through vamp and xamp and how to set up our vamp folder or xamp folder and put our files or our php code you will find the link in the description for that video and in this video we will be tackling two problems which people usually face when they are running the vamp server so as you can see that my vamp icon is in red color so when i hover on it it says that none of two services are running so which are those two services so when i left click i'll see one of the service is apache this is the server which hosts our php code and the other service is the sql service which does not work at the current moment so we will solve both the services step by step so when one of the service will be working this icon will be turning to red and when both the service will be working this icon will turn to green so we will solve each service one by one and see the changes in the icon so uh, the main issue when the services don't run is because the ports are busy which the services use so the apache server this apache server will be using the port 80 which currently my computer will be consuming at some else place so and the php uh, the sql part will be consuming port 3306 which some other service will be consuming at the current moment so both these services cannot run so i'll show you how to tackle so i'll go to the i i'll go here and just type iis and as you can see my iis server is working at the moment i'll stop the iis server and it shows me the option start so it has stopped i'll just close it i refresh it and i go here so the icon is red i go here i say start all services and uh, it should turn to orange and it should start one service which is the apache service because the IIS port was consuming my port 80 and when I stopped the IIS server the port 80 was free and I could use that port to run my Apache server so now when I hover on the icon it's, it's, it might say uh, yeah one of two services running so the Apache server will start running now another problem is that I have MySQL uh, installed in another platform I have MySQL workbench which installs MySQL itself in it so that port that MySQL workbench uses the port 80 in my, uh, port 3306 in my computer so I have to free that port so I'll stop this uh, status as you can see the eight port 80 is running so I'll stop this and say yes so it will free my port 80 as soon as the status changes to stop so it, as you can see the services zero instances are running so now i can go here and uh, i can start all services so now you can see that the port has been freed and the all the services are running here so now if i left click i go to php my admin it should open the php my admin for me as the services have been started to run so as you can see the php my admin has now been open because uh, the services or the ports have been freed and we can run our services so the basic configuration is root and no password so i go i is slow as usual and as you can see it opens the php my admin for me here and that's how we can free our server or we can say just I'll just open localhost and this is my vamp server because that was the cache page now when I refresh this is my vamp server page and these are my all the projects projects here and this is my localhost and that's how we can free our ports and use our vamp server so that's it in today's video I hope it helps you all and you just have to detect which services are running on your port and just free them and start all the services and start coding so i hope it helps and i see you in the next video thank you